this is, I don't know, this sounds kind of crazy, but I'm just going to put this out there. Have fans already given up on new owner Josh Harris? Already? <laughs> Well, welcome back to another video here on the Washington Football Maniacs YouTube channel. My name is Greg, and this channel is dedicated to the Washington Commanders, one of the best franchises in the league, if you just maybe subtract this season. <laughs> so if you're down with that, please make sure you subscribe to this channel. When you do, hit that notification bell so you will never miss another video release. That said, we're talking about Josh Harris. Now, all of us were so excited when Dan Snyder finally officially sold the Washington Commanders. You know, it was a brand new day. You know, we're wanting to throw like, you know, parades. It's almost like us winning our own Super Bowl, right? 20 plus years, 25 plus years of, of just, you know, consistent losing, um, just bad, just, just evil bad stuff under a horrible owner and in comes Josh Harris, a breath of fresh air, you know, the polar opposite of Dan Snyder, very likable guy, you know, a guy who comes out and says the right thing says, this is not my team. This is the city's team. This is your team, this fans team basically. And, you know, I'm just being a, basically a steward. I'm paraphrasing, but I think what he's trying to get at, he's just basically being a good steward of the team and he wants to bring the team back to greatness. And, you know, we've seen what he's done with his other sports franchises, especially we look at the Philadelphia 76ers, and he has turned that team around. Now, no championships as of yet, but he has put that team in a position to where they can go out and compete for a championship year in and year out so he has turned that franchise around and i feel like it's just honestly a matter of time before he gets a championship with that team and you know i'm not as much into watching hockey but it seems like he's he's been somewhat successful with the the uh, devil rays as well so now here he is, the owner of the Washington Commanders, and we're expecting, you know, the same results. Um, but as Washington Commanders fans, we are very much of a th uh, thickled, <laughs> thickled, thickled and thickled bunch of people. <laughs> I'm going to just start making up words. You know, we were just, as fans, we expected right away because we have a lot of us have sat here for decades and have watched a horrible product on the field you know every now and then you might see a good season sprinkled in here and there but for the most part it's been just bad stuff year in year out and you know big promises and big expectations only to get shot down halfway in the season and this season has been a pretty much a big snapshot of all of that you know it, it's been no different um, just a season of high expectations and it's been the exact opposite as far as results and the product on the field and because of that suddenly you know I, I'm, I'm looking at some voices and they're getting a little antsy and you know they're they're basically like, you know, Josh Harris, if you're not firing Ron Rivera, then, you know, your your ownership is no better than that Dan Snyder. You know, you're you're not gonna help this team. And you know, I will say that I was kind of on the fence about what he should do. Because for one part, you can't just go and make certain moves just to appease the fans 
and these moves may not prove to be the best moves for your team. For one thing, if you go and just fire coaches just for the sake of firing coaches, um, just because fans are calling for it, how's that going to look for another prospective coach coming in? And they're like, well, you know, this guy is just going to fire a coach midway through the season. Um, when going gets tough, I'm not sure if that's where I want to be. You know, I want to be some more of a, their stability where, you know, I'm allowed to be able to develop at least, you know, give me three seasons. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, so having said all that, you know, I think Josh Harris is making the right decisions. <clears throat> At this point, you ride with Ron Rivera and you let him finish out the season. And then while you're doing that, you're looking for the next general manager because you can fire the general manager at this point. You know, Mark Mayhew loved him as a player for the Redskins, but for as the general manager, I don't think he's made the right decisions. So you can you can hire a new general manager like right away. So if you can hire the right general manager right away, he's the one who's going to determine who the next head coach should be. He's going to be tasked with going out and finding that next head coach. And Josh Harris is going to try to find the best general manager for that position. That is Josh Harris's job. And we talked about before when Dan Snyder was owner of the Washington Commanders that we wanted an owner who would put the right people in place on the football side of things and then have the owner just get out of the way and let them do their jobs. And then suddenly, you know, we have a new owner and now we want the new owner to act like Dan Snyder and go in there and fire the coach. So I'm like, you can't have it both ways, folks. We we know that this season has not went the way it should. We're all frustrated with the job that Ron Rivera has done with his team um, this season. At least we have gotten some um, changes on the defensive side, coaching side. But, you know, the process is exactly the way that it should be. You know, just let things ride out. Um, give Ron Rivera opportunity to continue to at least ride this season out um, while Josh Harris looks for the perfect general manager to come in um, to clean house in the front, uh, front office, put in the right folks in there, and then the general manager will make the decision as far as the next coaching staff. If the general manager sees that there's an opportunity to keep Ron Rivera around for whatever reason, then respect that decision and let's see what happens. Um, I don't think that's very likely. And I think a lot of fans would be very upset with that move. But, you know, I think that's the process. That's the better process and that's the right process. And that's exactly, folks, what we have been wanting. And so that's what we need, and that's what this franchise needs, and we've gotten the right owner to do that. So I know things have not been the way that they needed, that we have wanted them to be. You know, I think some of us felt like things were just going to be instant, that suddenly Josh Harris comes in and he's waved this magic wand, and, and suddenly things are returned to greatness in year one. That's just simply not going to happen. We have got to get rid of the entire Dan Snyder stench on this franchise. And it's likely that, you know, gen, you know, coaching staff is going to be gone, completely replaced. We're going to see brand new players trickle in next season and in the seasons to come. Uh, and yes, that's going to be another kind of hard thing for us to see. 
it, because we're going to feel like it's yet another rebuild. But we also have to look at it like this. It's a brand new franchise. It's something brand new. All of this other stuff was in the past. And we got to understand, we got to think of it like this. This is year one. We got to treat it as year one of this franchise. And what happened with Dan Snyder and his ownership, that all ended once the ink dried. So I think if you look at it like that, and just from that perspective and say, let's just from this point forward, Josh Harris's ownership marks a new franchise. Let's just put a little trust in him. Let's give him some time to see what he does with this franchise. Let's not give up folks. I think a lot of us after uh, such a, a, a butt kicking that this commander's team got from our, our most hated rival Dallas Cowboys, um, on Thanksgiving, I, you know, that really does a lot to a fan psyche. I understand that. I mean, I was, it was not in very good mood after that game, but you know what? Um, I didn't expect us to win. A lot of us didn't expect us to win. I actually, I actually expected that type of game. I was, I, I was really shocked that the commanders kept the game relatively within reach for three quarters. So that being said, folks, um, don't give up on Josh Harris just yet. I mean, that's, that, that's just so surprising to me. You know, this is just, he hasn't even gotten through one season yet. Let him make his changes. Um, you know, he's inherited what was already put in place. He needed to find out what he had. Now that he knows what he has, he's already gotten the wheels in motion. He's already started making some changes, putting things in place. Just be patient. I think this guy knows what he's doing. He's also got other guys helping him who's been very successful. And you just got to be patient. Um, so that said, folks, that's, that's really the point of this video. Um, let me know in the comments what you think. Um, do you think it's just ludicrous that people have given up on Josh Harris already? Um, or do you think that maybe he wasn't the right owner for the team? Let me know in the comments below. With that said, I will see you in the next one.